All right, here's a lesson on the difference quotient. So in the yellow box, what you're going to do is you're going to notice that this is evaluating the function for x plus h. Then there's a subtraction sign, and then you're going to subtract the function, and then divide it all by h. So we're going to go ahead and do an example. So this is your difference quotient expression, and then this is your function. So we're going to go ahead and first evaluate the function for x plus h. So we're going to replace that x with x plus h. Then we're going to subtract the function, so 7x, and then divide all over h. Now we're going to simplify it. So we're going to distribute the 7 into that binomial, then subtract 7x over h. Continue simplifying. 7x minus 7x becomes 0. We have 7h over h. Then you can reduce by a common factor of h, so the final answer is 7. Second example is going to be a little bit more challenging. So this is your function, and you're going to do the difference quotient. So step one, we're going to evaluate the function for x plus h. So negative replace the x with x plus h squared plus 2 replace the x with x plus h and then plus 4. Now I'm going to make that one bracket. I'm going to erase this. What we did is we took the function and evaluated for x plus h. Now I'm going to change colors. This is saying subtract the function. So here's your function and you're going to subtract it. Then you're going to divide by h. Now, what makes this problem challenging is there's a lot of simplification that has to happen. So we have to go back to the green. And notice this is an x plus h all squared. So it's minus x plus h times another x plus h. We're going to distribute the 2 in. So that's 2x plus 2h and then we have the plus 4. Now in the purple, we need to distribute that negative in. That's going to change all of those signs. So it's a positive x squared, a negative 2x, and a negative 4. And then it's all over h. Now we continue simplifying. So in the numerator, I have a negative 4 and a positive 4 cancel out. I have a positive 2x and a negative 2x that cancel out. Now, these two binomials have to be foiled out. So first, outside, inside, last. And then I have the 2h, the x squared, all over h. Now I'm going to distribute the negative in. And then I have the 2h, and the x squared all over 
H. Now I'm going to continue simplifying and what happens is this negative x squared and that positive x squared become zero. I'm going to put it in standard form so I have the negative h squared first. These two terms are alike so that's negative 2xh and then plus 2h all over h. And now I'm going to factor out an h from the numerator. So I have negative h minus 2x plus 2 all over h. And how that helped is this h and that h have a common factor with h. So our final answer is negative h minus 2x plus 2 where h cannot be zero, that would make it undefined. We also need to go back to this problem here and also say that h cannot be zero because it would make that fraction undefined. So that is your difference quotient.